Hey Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. Thank you very much for tuning in. I sincerely appreciate it. Going with a bit of a news review video today. Um, as you know, if you've watched me for a little while, you know I'm quite sporadic with these type of videos, but I'm just really, really excited. I wanted to start making these type of videos a little bit more frequent here on my channel. Um, you know, news breaking about new collectibles, new toys, that, that stuff really excites me. So. I decided I really want to start pushing to make this, you know, frequent part of my channel. May not be the first one to drop it, but I will certainly do my best to drop things, um, talk and discuss them. You know, it's good. Gave me a chance to think about these today and, you know, let's get straight into it, I suppose. And uh, it is basically, we're getting another wave of Mandalorian retro action figures and these look fantastic and I'll explain why. So earlier this year, we got the first ever wave of Mandalorian inspired retro style vintage Kenner looking action figures. For the first six, we got Quill, we got Grogu, we got Cara Dune, we got Grief Cargo, we got the Mandalorian, and we got IG-11. Um, I don't think I'm missing any. I'm just sort of going by what I'm looking at. No, I'm pretty sure that was it. I think I just named off six. So one thing I really loved about those figures now I was a little bit hesitant about the retro line. I got the first wave that they did, which was based on, you know, recasts of New Hope characters. So my thing was, are they just going to remake all the old stuff again? And it was starting to look like that way when they did a second wave a year later with The Empire Strikes Back. You know, we got a... We got a Bespin Luke. I think we got a Hoth Han. I can't remember exactly. We got a Lando, a Yoda. Um, and you know what? They're cool. But they've been done before, you know, some 40 years ago plus. So the thing I loved about the Mandalorian figures is that they were new. They were brand new, new looking. They fit the aesthetic really well. They had the sort of color, the styling that really fit in with particularly those New Hope figures from back in the 70s. You know, they were really vibrant colors. They were sort of, you know, he had Ben Kenobi, who was a brown. Vader was a black. Luke was a white. Leia was white. You had X-Wing Luke was orange. Then you had like the Cantina patrons, you know, bright oranges, greens, blues. Fantastic stuff. Really sort of eye-catching, popping color. And I feel like they achieved that with the Mandalorian, particularly with, oh, I say with all of them. But, you know, they gave Quill sort of a yellow-green combination. Grief got a sort of red-gray. Cara Dune had her sort of blue and black sort of thing. Um, Grogu, obviously green mando had his own sort of color style they all sort of popped individually as you know cool individual characters with different color sets that the awesome sort of retro kenner style which is great so that's what i love about them continuing on with the mandalorian of retro figures is that they are new they haven't been seen before they're not rehashes of something old and also some of these figures giving us hints of what's to come in the vintage collection proper so that's what i'm loving with these figures we've got six new ones we have Mandal the mandalorian din Djarin himself in his beskar armor we have imperial death trooper we have bo katan Kreese. we have boba fett himself ahsoka tano and the armorer so six brand spanking new figures they look fantastic the card arts look really really nice we've seen a couple of them before based on their counterparts in the vintage collection themselves um so yeah i thought we'd go through them one by one so before we quickly kick off these are part of the new campaign hasbro are doing to roll out called bring home the bounty this will more than likely sort of lead up to the christmas period and you know the beginning of book of boba fett on december 29th uh pre-orders for these should be live not too far away from when this video is posted if you're watching this straight away probably not yet but um you know check all your local sites i know there's a few sites in australia that will be getting these and uh yeah good luck to everyone i hope i hope they don't sell out we were very lucky with the first wave of mandalorian retro figures here in australia um, there's still a lot hanging out in pegs too, so go out and get them. I know Cara Dune has been one that's selling out, uh, even Mando selling out, but the rest of them have been pretty attainable. So 
We'll start off with the Mandalorian himself in his Beskar armor. Now this is the same image used on the Vintage Collection version, which in itself was one of my favorite figures um, released in recent years in three and three quarter inch scale. And uh, yeah, this one looks good. Doesn't look like a simple repaint at all. It looks like it's slightly retooled. Um, if it's so slight different, whether he comes with a jetpack or not, that's hard to be seen. Um, I dare say he probably won't on this occasion. Um, but it looks like he may be coming with a soft goods cape instead of the plastic one that the first, the vinyl one that the first Mandalorian came with. Just looking at it at the bubble, it looks like there may be a bit of soft goods wrapped around his neck and draping down the back as opposed to the big vinyl cape that's sort of sitting around tucked into his arm joints. So that one's looking pretty good. Uh, next up is the Imperial Death Trooper. Love the striking image on this card. Uh, now I believe this one came out on a vintage card but it was part of the um, carbonized vintage car <laughs> vintage collection um, so I dare say this one may make a additional release to the vintage collection at some point we have had the Rogue One version of the Death Trooper um, but yeah I'd be very very interested to sort of see if this one will get a, another release in the vintage collection with that standard Death Trooper again but again really cool looking figure black all black uh, he's sort of got green highlights on the eyes and on the sort of, I don't know, the two lights on the chin, I guess, the chin of the helmet, either side of the chin. But yeah, that's looking pretty good. This is one you probably want to get two of. Um, nice to have a trooper getting out there after the uh, Remnant Stormtrooper was so difficult to obtain from the first wave of vintage, uh, sorry, retro Mandalorian figures being an exclusive to a Monopoly set. So... <laughs> Hopefully we don't get another one of those deals, but it wouldn't surprise me. So next up, we've got Ahsoka Tano. Now look at that card back. Isn't that fantastic? <clears throat> Looks absolutely brilliant. I'm looking forward to that release official in the vintage collection. So the figure itself looking very, very true to sort of Kenner style. I think that's fantastic. Nice sort of plain white lightsaber blades. You know, again, really sort of true to the lightsabers of you know particularly uh some of the empire strikes back and return of the jedi as they're done away with the telescoping lightsabers by that point um which were really only included on farm boy luke ben kenobi and vader from a new hope anyway so they look really good nice continuity of you know it feels like a continuation of those original vintage figures which is fantastic and uh, yeah, Ahsoka Tano, very deserving of an entry to that. So that's one I'm definitely looking forward to. Now, next one, Bo-Katan Kreese. Now we know we're getting a Bo-Katan in the vintage collection. She's currently up for pre-order at most places uh, that are offering it. I find the bright green of the uh, name pill and the backing of the card to be slightly I don't know, it's a weird colour considering the rest of it's blue, but I understand it definitely pops. Um, I guess if you did it in a blue, you know, it would kind of get a little bit lost in there, so I understand that. But again, love, love, love seeing another Mandalorian character in this vintage 5 POA Kenner, Kenner style. I think it looks great. It's got a two blaster pistols. The card bag looks fantastic. That shot of her is brilliant. Um, yeah, again, really looking forward to that vintage collection release. Knowing what they did with the Black Series 1. Fantastic stuff. Loving that the Bo-Katan and the Mandalorians are getting, getting so much love at the moment. It's really, really good. So we've got Boba Fett. And based on his appearance on the planet Morocco, I, I believe it is. M-O-R-O-K. At least that's what it looks like to me. The image I've got in front of me is a little blurry, so I will get some nice high-res ones to put on the video, so it'll be fine. But yeah, this is what we're waiting for, folks. You know, this Boba Fett coming out, you know, this is going to be only in the vintage collection, without a doubt. You know, they've been able to put a Kenner, fig Kenner style figure out. He looks fantastic. You know, to be able to put this one up against the original sort of 
1980 Boba Fett figure from, I guess, technically 1979, wasn't it? Before Empire, because he was a sort of a sneak preview. Um, yeah, this is going to look fantastic side by side. Um, I'm definitely going to be getting a couple of this one. You know, one to keep carded, one to open for my Mando display. And probably another one just to keep loose on my Boba Fett shrine. I do have a little bit of Boba Fett shrine. I, uh, it was only recently that I came out of the Fett closet, <laughs> so to speak. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a sucker for Fett now. I always was, but I was just in denial about it. But yeah, I'll, I'll, that's probably my favourite Fett outfit, to be honest. That sort of repainted armour from the Mandalorian with the black. Oh, it's, it's so tough. Looks great. And lucky last, we have the Armourer. Now, we've seen this Armourer card already with her release in the Vintage Collection. And the, the figure here looks stunning. Looks superb. Really, really cool. Again, those nice bright colours, you know, browns. You know, they don't look bright. They're not bright in the essence of like reds and yellows, but nice gold helmet, sort of red chest armour. So the browns and greys, they all got that sort of nice warm look to them. And that does sort of flow through from the image of the card back there with her raging furnace behind her. Uh, weapons comes with a nice sort of hammer and uh, the welding sort of prongs, I guess tongs pliers whatever you want to call them yeah just another cool looking cool looking figure added to the retro collection so i think these are looking absolutely fantastic i can't wait um i really hope they push forward with this line um particularly you know i wasn't that excited about retro when it was first coming out with those first two waves like i said but doing new stuff doing new characters on new cards something fresh that's what i really dig about this thing and um i'm all in i'm all in let me know your thoughts down in the comments below also which characters would you love to see in a third wave if you can think of six characters my first one comes to mind is fennec shand absolute no-brainer um migs mayfeld what based on, you know, on his appearance i think a dark trooper um yeah those three that are immediately coming to mind for a third wave of action figures maybe another one of the mandos maybe Costca reeves maybe axe woves um so many more we can think of there's a lot of great characters in the mandalorian that could find themselves in these retro style action figures on cards and i know for a fact that i think bill burr would get a kick of having his face on a star wars action figure packaging so <laughs> I'd love to hear what you guys think. Sound out in the comments below. Let me know what you think of this wave. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the little notification bell so you're never behind on my videos as they drop. Thank you very much for watching again. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you all on the next video. So until the next one, may the force be with you. And this is the way.